we'll come back and do this again uh, a little bit later on, once we've done a little bit more on electro potentials and so on. Yeah. But we're just going to do the basics yeah. about how we combine two half equations together to make an overall equation. So we've worked out, if I give you a reactant and a product, how you get the half equation. Now if I give you two half equations, how can you get back to the overall equation? So here we go. Um, you need to write, so we're going to go through some rules and then we'll do a couple of examples to see how we get on. So, uh, number one is write both half equations ensuring you have the reactants and products on the correct side. Now, you may be thinking, what is he going on about? Um, you will, when we do a few examples, you'll see what I mean. What else? On the correct side. So that's the first thing you do. Once you've done that, you then make sure you have the same number of electrons Um, in both equations. And number three, add the two equations together. Uh, the two half equations together. And cancel uh, species that occur on both sides that are on both sides of the equation. Cool. Okay, so let's do this one, example PO number one. So um, here are two half equations that we've done previously, and it wants me to write the equation for I2 with Fe2+. Plus. Now, so I need to start with I2 plus Fe2+. Plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these. This one has to be swapped over. So I'm going to write this, Fe2 plus is still my reactant, so that's okay. However, I2 plus two electrons goes to two I minus. I have to, because this one, if you think about it, is being oxidised, so the tubal one has to be reduced. Now, otherwise, and also if you don't swap them around, you can't cancel the electrons. So, the first thing, have I got my reactants on the right side? Fe2 plus I2 plus, yes. Those are my two reactants, okay. The next step I need to do is make sure that my electrons are the same on both sides, uh, on both equations. I've got two electrons there, but I've only got one electron there. So yeah, so this guy has to be times by two. So now I've got two electrons in this equation and two electrons on this one. And then I just add them together. So let's do that. That becomes 2Fe2 plus plus I2 plus two electrons goes to 2Fe3 plus plus two I minus plus two electrons. And now I can cancel my electrons because they appear on both the left and the right hand side. So my final equation. Can you just do the swatch version again? Uh, the full ones. Miss Harrison did it. Yeah. She decided to do yeah, yeah, the full ones as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you do it. So you should be super with these if you've already done this. Wow. Well, so, yeah. 
Yeah, that's the simplest case possible. Oh, okay. Too much. okay. But he doesn't move on. Is everybody happy with those? Whoa, well, hold on. Slow down. So you've always got to make sure that the same number of connections actually Bang on, yeah. We'll do a slightly more difficult one, but they don't get too too much more difficult. Okay, here we go. So, example number two. Example number two. It wants me to write the equation for MnO4 minus, so that one's a right way round, and SO2. So, let's write these out again. MnO4 minus plus 8 H plus plus five electrons goes to Mn2 plus plus four H2O. The other one I'm going to swap a Rooney around. SO2 plus two H2O goes to four H plus plus SO4 two minus plus two electrons. Now later on in the course we'll figure out which way we should be doing this. We're just making that. We're just going with it. Does it matter which one you put first? It, it doesn't, I've told you what to start with, yeah, I've told you that you've got to start with MnO4- minus and SO2, those are your two reactants. So in this one it's a product, so I've had to swap that around. Um, one of these you're always going to have to swap around, because at the moment they're both showing reduction. They're both showing the gain of electrons, one always has to be reduced and one has to be oxidised. So, first thing for it, Products and reactants are on the correct side. Job done. Electrons, oh dear, bit of an issue. I've got five electrons here and two electrons there. Now the easiest way of doing this really is to times this one by two and that one by five. So you have two. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is that this one I'm going to times by two. So that becomes two MnO4 minus plus 16H plus, because plus you could just bracket it. 10 electrons goes to 2Mn2 plus and 8H2O. This one I'm times in by 5, so that becomes 5SO2 plus 10H2O. Very messy. Plus 20H plus, plus 5SO4 plus 10 electrons. Hopefully you've all got that at the now same time. Yeah. Now, yeah, is everybody happy those numbers worked out? Okay. Yeah. Now let's add them together. So, 2MnO4 minus plus 16H plus plus 10 electrons plus 5SO2 plus 10H2O goes to 2Mn2 plus 8H2O plus 20H plus plus 5SO4 2 minus plus 10 electrons. I would go through that quite carefully because that's often when people uh, miss out. So go through it line by line. Okay, now this is the fun bit. Can you see, first of all, let's do the easy bit. I've got 10 electrons there, 10 electrons there, got both sides. But, oh uh, yeah, but let's go through this now. MnO4, that's only on this side, so let's bung that in the final one. What about 16H plus? I've got 16 there, but I've got 20 there. Yeah, so if I take 16 off both sides, that 16 goes, and that one becomes 4H plus. So you can, yeah. you can do that, you can minus, you don't have to divide. No, no, I just take away, yeah, just take away both sides. Right, what about, oh, I haven't got SO2 on both sides. H2O. So H2O, so brilliant. I've got 10 there, but I've got 8 there, so, so two. 2H2O goes to 2Mn2 plus those two have gone, plus 5, SO4, 2 minus. And that's your equation. So that's what I mean about cancelling um, both sides. Right, so let's just do one more um, today. So this is one you've been working on. We've already got the equations on the correct side. So this is set up, this is my reactant, that's my reactant. Five electrons here, two electrons here. 
So this equation needs to be times by 2, and that equation needs to be times by 5. I'm going to do that, so it becomes 2mn04 minus plus 16h plus plus 10 electrons, 2mn2 plus plus 8h2o. This one gets times by 5, 10Cl minus goes to 5Cl2 plus 10 electrons. And then you're going to add these together. Now, the electrons we know are going to cancel, so I'm not going to add those into my final equation. And so that is my final overall equation. Score. Great.